Uncertainty is something that we all face, but you can't let that hold you back from doing what you love in life. With every decision that we make comes risk. And sometimes things just don't, don't go your way. Hey, little girl. Hi. Hello. Shoo wee, it's hot one outside, boys. We're uh, we're out here Moto 40. I'm already sweating. I literally just put my gear on. I haven't even gone out on the first moto yet. Track's looking good. Somebody's already managed to break their leg. I think it was an older gentleman. He uh, he came up way too nose high on a jump, didn't break tap, and uh, snapped his leg, I think. Yeah, he had escorted out, so. And yesterday, I actually did a private training class with a Supercross rider, Luke Nice. It was perfect for me. Me and Cole actually went out there and did the class together. It was absolutely sick. I mean, we learned a lot. We, uh, we went over a lot of different drills and just technique and stuff like that from everything from starts to cornering to, to learning how to make turns wider to keep your momentum it was a really good class and much needed for me i'm just pumped to get out and ride today it's a hot one but uh, track conditions should be pretty good today is going to be solely focused on working on everything that i have learned from yesterday so i'm trying to keep it in my brain keep it in my system so uh, i'm really sore right now my body is clapped but that's besides the point we're gonna go out there really focus on technique go ahead start the bike up let her sit here and warm up just for a little bit. Should be dialed and ready to rip. Got the helmet all set up. Got the fresh, uh, fresh 100. These things are absolutely sick. The all red colorway. As you can tell, I, I like my red. Red makes you go faster, guys. Got us on the chest protector, neck brace, jersey. And we'll be ready to fly. So uh, I'm gonna let it warm up just for a little bit. Then we're gonna get out there. I'll pick you guys up on the GoPro. All right, guys, I have to interrupt because today's video is brought to you by Simply Carbon Fiber. Simply Carbon Fiber is your one-stop shop for any accessories you may need. Now, I've actually been working with these guys for quite a while now, and I absolutely love their products. This right here in my hand is actually the wallet I've been been using for the past couple of weeks now and I absolutely love it. I would not use any other wallet. It's not only super lightweight and durable, but it also looks really good and I love their sleek branding down in the bottom corner. It's got a money clip on the back and it'll hold as many cards as you possibly need. Now, I wouldn't be just telling you this if I didn't believe in their product. I absolutely love their stuff. I actually have one of their phone cases as well, but uh, I'm telling you guys, if you're gonna pick up one thing, I would highly recommend their wallet. It's just the go-to purchase on their website. It makes every day so much easier, just, you know, something sleek and slim just to slip in and out of your pocket whenever, you know, you're going to a store or whatnot. So if you guys happen to like the look of this wallet right here and wanna pick yourself up one, use code LEE10 for 10% off. Go check out Simply Carbon Fiber, first link in the description. Simply Carbon Fiber wanted me to hook you guys up with that 10% off. Again, that's code LEE10 to get you 10% off on anything on their website. They have so much more stuff than just wallets and phone cases. I mean, they have chargers, AirPod cases, anything you can think of, they have. So if I was you, I'd highly recommend clicking that first link in the description, go and check out their website, browse around, see what you can find, and uh, I can promise you, you will not be disappointed. Well, guys, let's go ahead and kick it back to the program. Hey, Bale, we don't do no silly business at the track, okay? No silly business. None of that silly business. You understand? You good, puppy. Made it out to Moto 40, baby. Take a little sight lap here. Just gotta fill up the track. Oh yeah, they put some sawdust on here, boy. This right here is the jump where I broke my leg. Now I'm gonna slow this down for you guys so I can explain to you exactly how this happened. Because unfortunately, you guys are gonna kill me for this, but I don't have it on camera. The time when I actually went out, I thought I hit record, I double checked, I, I asked my mom, I said, hey, am I recording, am I recording, am I recording? She double checked, made sure that the GoPro was counting. It said it was recording. Come to find out that the footage isn't there. So to this day, I have no idea if the footage got corrupted whenever I crashed because I went down really hard or if I never was recording in the first place, which tears my stomach apart. Next time I go out and I ride, I guarantee you guys that I will make sure five times myself that it's recording because I will never afford for something like this to happen again because this is absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's made me kind of upset and mentally just fucked up because not having the footage of me snapping my leg is probably one of the most prime pieces of footage in my lifetime really really upsets me but anyways let me explain to you how this happened so as i'm coming over the jump right here you can see there's a double kind of like right where i landed then if we keep going here you can see the hump of the triple right there now this is actually where i landed on this jump so this section right here is actually a rhythm section that goes double triple double majority of people only double the triple because it's actually the biggest triple at moto 40's track it's about 110 feet i actually asked one of the guys pretty fat jump and the thing is about the jump is that the landing's pretty darn short too so if you don't make it you can end up in a situation like i did i came over the first double 
coming into the triple. There was a guy that ended up coming behind me. He was carrying a lot more speed and momentum than I was, and I could tell he was going to hit the triple. I don't know why, but last minute in my mind, about halfway down, I decided to hit the gas really hard and try to clear the triple. But I didn't really take into consideration that I wasn't carrying as much momentum as him. Therefore, I ended up coming up short, landing on the hump of the landing. When I did, my bike completely bottomed out, catapulted me forward over the handlebars, and I literally got flung off the bike all the way to here. That's how far I got shot off the bike. My bike um, ended up, I guess, following behind me because it wasn't too far from me, but I got shot off the bike that far from the from the hump of the landing all the way to the, basically the, the flat part here. Whenever I got bucked off the bike, I'm pretty sure I did a front flip. And when I did, my leg literally was just straight and it just caught the ground perfectly. My momentum was carrying like forward. So it stuck in the ground, momentum was carrying forward since I had my knee braces, which go from the middle of my tibula, which I broke to the middle of my femur. I think all the pressure literally had to go somewhere and the knee brace wasn't breaking because I have some strong freaking knee braces. I think that's what bit me in the ass. I ended up snapping my tibula right at the, right at the end of where my knee brace sits. Not only did I snap my tibula, but I also snapped my fibula as well. Both bones in my right leg. When I hit the ground, I was screaming in excruciating pain. My first instinct whenever I hit the ground was literally look back and make sure I don't get hit by somebody else because I knew there's people coming behind me. So thank God I kind of landed off to the right of the track, but I still ended up having to crawl a couple yards to get fully off the track. When I did, there was people coming over the jump and I was waving them down and I was yelling, you know, help, 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 you know, you know, please stop, please stop because I knew that something was really, really wrong. I've never broken a bone before, but I knew whatever happened wasn't good and I was in a lot of pain. Thank God, two to three riders ended up coming off the track immediately. They rode about 50 yards down to go get one of the, the local guys at the track that, you know, watches over the track and stuff like that. And he was in a side-by-side. -side, so they came rushing over to come get me. There was two guys with them. Whenever they got there, they were like, are you, you know, are you good? What happened? I was like, I think my legs broke. Please just pick me up in the back of the side-by-side -side and put me in the side-by-side. -side. They both got beside me and they picked me up, set me in the back of the side-by-side. -side. The other guy ended up getting my bike and riding that back. And then thank God my mom was there. They were like, is anybody here with you? I'm like, yeah, my mom's here. She's in the red tent. I'll point you where it's at. And he was like, how's your pain? I was like, well... It's actually not that bad right now. Out of 10, I was like, oh, it's probably like a four out of 10. He was like, yeah, it's because all that adrenaline's kicking. And I'm like, yeah, probably. And he was like, are you sure it's broke? I was like, I'm about 90% sure. I've never broke a bone, but I could actually go and like push against my boot and I could feel the bone moving. Then we ended up making the way up off the track, pulling up to my mom. And of course, immediately she came running over. She was freaking out and I was pretty calm. I was honestly the most calm out of the whole group, but I think it was because all the adrenaline kicking through my veins and then that basically brings us to this point right well, here guys uh case the triple i think it was on gopro i hope the gopro didn't die i hope to god i got that this leg i'm almost positive it's broken i uh i came over there's like a double to a triple which you guys should have saw and i cased it right on the hump and it bucked me off the bike and then i landed but i just like this leg was in so much pain. It's actually fine right now, but I think it's all the adrenaline pumping. It feels like a four out of 10 right now, but I feel like it's about to be a 12 out of 10 here in a little bit. I can like move, like kind of applying pressure. I can feel something moving. So I think it's broken. This will be the first time I've ever broken a bone. They got the ambulance on the way. We're under shade. It's hot as a mother fluffer outside, but uh, we're here. The boys came and picked me up as soon as they saw it. I was waving another bike down, but it is what it is. It's part of it. Hopefully it's not broken. Hopefully I'm just, you know, think it is, but. We're almost there. Woo, we got it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's broken. Oh God. That's definitely broken. Yeah. Get the shins or the splints. Here. Do you want to keep that brace on or do you want to take that I'll off? I'll take it off slowly here a second. We're just going to get some splints. Yeah. Right, 13, first line, first traffic, unconscious, 210, South, Victoria Drive. This is fine. Unconscious, First time breaking a leg. I feel fine. Adrenaline's still pumping, I think, but I'm about to be at the hospital and I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, like what they're gonna do. Put me in a cast maybe, but Fun stuff. Brayden just texted me and reminded me to vlog, so. 
I'm vlogging. Oh, well, guys, we're uh, higher than a kite in the hospital. Snapped leg, I think. They just did x-rays and waiting for him to come in. Oh, here they are. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you know what the status is. It looks good. Bad, you can tell the camera, but it's there. Are you mom and dad? That yes. Is mom and dad. Yes. All right. So you got both bones. Well, that's good. Minimally displaced, so that's good. Okay. Uh, do you want to take a picture of the X-ray? Where are you hurting? <laughs> We're just, I'm just not going to touch you at all. Right there. Okay, I just don't want to no, touch you at all. No, mom, I was wondering about those wipes, if you could wipe my leg. I'm not touching that leg. I, it I'll can, no, leg. you're not. Leg's fine. No. I'll walk out of your arena. Right no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When is the last time they gave you pain medicine? Like, before I start lifting, do you feel like you might need something? Sure. Like, 10 minutes ago? I don't know. They've given me a little bit more pain than some. What they give me, Doug? Fatmol or something like that. I don't know. So that's that's what I broke. Tibula mm -hmm. and fibula. Cool. So what's up, guys? Uh, we're uh, we're gonna get ready to go to the hospital. Yeah, so we're gonna get ready to go to the hospital. Yeah, so we're gonna get ready to go to the hospital. Yeah, so we're gonna get ready to go to the hospital. Yeah, so we're gonna get ready to go to the hospital. Yeah, Got like these like heart monitors on me. They've been coming in here and there checking vitals and all that fun stuff. Pissing into a jug because I can't really walk. Kind of like a roller coaster. Like sometimes I'll be like really up, really high as a kite and feeling pretty good. And then I like come down and I'm kind of mellowed out and they can give me more. I don't know. But leg right now is, uh, it's all right. It hurts. Don't get me wrong. It's kind of just like it's wrapped up in a big old cast ended up putting a temporary cast on me um i got surgery in the morning i broke my tib and my fib because the fib i th i think that's what it said the the fib will heal back itself because it was a clean break or something i've broken a bone for so this is this is my first rodeo on that kind of bring you along this crazy journey with me because who knows you know what's gonna happen next uh it's not like i can really ride dirt bikes so you know, i still got movement in my but I don't know if you guys can see, like, my little toes wiggling. Kind of moved my ankle just a little bit, but it really hurts. So, I may as well make the best out of it and remember this moment. Anyways, guys, got my TV. Got my room over here. Got my little setup. Got the blueberries. Got the water. My little bed moves up and down with these buttons. It's actually not a bad room. Got Haley as my nurse. She's kind of cute, not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to try to slide in. Just come hang out after surgery tomorrow. Maybe go catch a movie. Might go see a new Top Gun or something. I don't know. Definitely use a little cuddle buddy. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, you guys have been blowing up my phone. Friends, family, all sorts of people. Wish me the best and all that. Definitely is a shitty situation, but could have been a lot worse. Hey guys, we're about to go into surgery. This is gonna be fun. Hopefully, I'll wake up feeling better. They're putting a rod in my tib, let the fib heal up, heal up by itself. So, we'll see how it goes. It's good though. I mean, it seems like I'm in good hands. So, let's just keep on trucking. Hopefully, I'll wake up here in about two, three hours feeling all right. I know they're about to put me under. So, we'll see y'all in a little bit. What's up, guys? We uh, made it out of surgery last night. Ended up staying the night. One more night. Still in some pain. They've been keeping me medicated. But it only helps so much, quite honestly. Come take a look at my legs. So, we currently got an ice pack on it right now. But it's got a cast on it. Made a slit here. And a slit there. Put a titanium rod all the way down the tip. That's what we're looking like right now. Ate breakfast this morning. Slept okay. Woke up a lot last night. But, um... Got some decent sleep, so. As of right now, it's kind of looking like uh, we're gonna be down for about three months in recovery, like literally in the bed for like three months, probably even four to five before I could even like think about like, like getting back on a bike again, so I don't know. Got a lot of time to think, a lot of time to hang out in my room and figure out what I want to do. Hey, hey, buddy. How you doing? Tell them piggies, Steel. I can feel them. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, the whole squad's here. Holy fuck. 
They said we got some visitors. I didn't know they were bringing everybody. <laughs> Job. Alright guys, today should be the last day. Almost 10 o'clock this morning. Woke up about like 6. It's crazy because like you really just don't get good sleep at the hospital because they're always waking you up for medicine or vitals or something. Got my cast on. Oh shit. Drop my phone. Gotta get back into this whole vlogging thing, you know? It's been a long Almost a full week in the hospital. Long five days. Glad to be getting out. Glad I'm healing. Still gonna be a long journey to full recovery, but you know, you just gotta take it day by day and hopefully it won't won't be that bad. Gonna try to make the best out of it. This should be my last vlog update in the hospital room that I'm in. Been in that bed a whole lot. Finally sitting in like a chair. But um, yeah, I'm just ready to roll. Hopefully here in the next couple hours, I'll be back at the house. So get back there and kind of get set up. Maybe sit outside. God, I miss outside. I literally came straight from the track to here and have been stuck here since. My hair is so gross. You know what? I'm taking a shower as soon as I get home. That's what I'm doing. I've only been able to take like little like cloth baths. So I'm gonna be taking a shower as soon as I get home. So yeah, guys, that's led us to where I'm at right now. It's been a while now. My surgery was June 13th. It is currently July 6th. Once I got out of the hospital, I actually went in for like a two week checkup or something like that. Got my leg looked at and that's this footage right here. And all that kind of stuff, but I still, pain medicines make you kind of groggy and don't take deep breaths. All that just comes together for, the doctors treat the medicine part of things and we do the carpentry work, so. Yeah, well, that's a good thing, I guess. Oh, yeah. Helps it feel better overall. So, you got little poke holes over here. Got staples in there. Down here. June 29th. In the doctor for the first time, first visit. Got my, uh, just did my first x ray after the surgery and uh, waiting for the doctors come in here and talk to me about the results and show me the results. Uh, it's really weird seeing my leg. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see it again. I figured they were gonna like glue it together or like, you know, something, maybe like staples that kind of like dissolve. Nah, staples, actual staples. That's great. Didn't realize that was under there. I can only like lift my heel like so much. It's really weird. It feels kind of good. It feels really weird and good at the same time to have my cast off, but. Holy cow, never in my life have I experienced anything where I'm like, oh shoot, I kind of feel a little lightheaded, kind of a little wheezy, like I'm gonna pass out because of like blood or anything. Like, never. But him just taking them staples out of my leg, that got me going. I was like, whoa, that is uh, really, really weird. And yeah, so that's basically caught you guys fully up on uh, today where I'm at right now. Life definitely isn't easy. It's not fun being handicapped. Uh, I definitely, you know, appreciate both my legs a whole lot more once I can walk again, which hopefully will be here in the next two months because currently I'm making my way around the house either on crutches or a walker. When I take showers, I have to sit in a chair and then I have to cover my leg with a whole cast bag. It's a whole ordeal. I used to be able to shower in like 10 minutes. I swear it takes me like at least an hour to, to do a whole shower. Getting up and going to walk in the kitchen to get coffee in the morning, not a thing. I literally have to get my parents or my sister to get me food, get me coffee, get me, you know, whatever I may need just because like it's, it's almost like nearly impossible. You know, I'm just trying to be very cautious on the leg. I don't want to put any weight on it. That's what they said. You know, I, I do want to make sure that I fully heal on this leg. Last thing I want to do is start walking before they tell me I'm good or whatever, because, you know, I don't want this to lead to any future, you know, problems. I know there is a possibility that I can get the rod taken out of my leg, I think, once it fully heals. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Comment down below if you guys have, uh, you know, heard of that or if I should get it taken out, if they give me the option or if I should keep it in. I mean, me personally, I think that if I just kept it in, then therefore wouldn't the 
my leg kind of being stronger. I'm kind of like Iron Man at that point, you know. Uh, that that's that's kind of down the road, far away from now. But you know, hopefully here in the next like four months, maybe I'll be able to hop back on the bike. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be doing a lot of gaming videos, streaming uh maybe do a q a for you guys you know whatever you guys want to see definitely comment down below and help me out because like i don't want you guys uh to go anywhere i don't want my channel to go anywhere i want to keep my channel as relevant as possible where you guys can see me the most is definitely streaming i'm actually going to be streaming tonight on youtube as soon as this video goes live that you're watching right now i'm actually going to be streaming so literally as soon as you're done watching this Come check out my stream. I'm live right now on YouTube, probably playing Call of Duty or Apex Legends, one or the other, regardless of the game that I'm playing. Just come hang out, come chat it up, ask me some questions, talk with me. It's gonna be a good time. I've actually been doing some streams on Twitch, but tonight I wanna try out YouTube and uh, see how it goes. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. Stop by, say what's up. I'll go ahead and pop up the pictures on the screen of my break, exactly where my leg broke and stuff like that. Uh, I know I've yet to pop it up on the screen. So as you guys can see, both bones are broken, the tibia and fibula they put the rod on my tibula two screws up top two screws on the bottom to keep it straight keep it tidy i mean that's what i'm dealing with i got metal in my <laughs> i got titanium in me now boys so. we're aftermarket i guess we're uh making our way to factory now you know huge factory human human being just trying to make the best out of it is definitely kind of put a damper on things um had a lot of plans this summer and now they're kind of just like down the hole so i'm doing the best i can while i'm here kind of just in my room or you know at the house i can't really go out anywhere yet because i'm not able to walk if i had to tell you guys one thing you know just be appreciative for you know what you got your your arms your legs your fingers literally everything because it's crazy how much like this my breaking uh, a bone in my body like this has put me out you know take it from me if you haven't broke anything ever uh you're you're lucky you're very blessed. I will 100% remember this for the rest of my life, never to be forgotten. I, I know what it's like to, to snap a bone now and a leg and a very big bone and one that's not easy to break. It's it's nice to know that I will be able to hop back on a bike. So make sure you guys do look forward to that. Um, but in the meantime, you know, obviously I can't do any uh, bike related stuff. So going to be introducing a new wave of content in the meantime. But uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. I think that's about it, guys. I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you made it all the way through to the end of the video right here, I really appreciate you. Uh, you definitely mean a lot to me. Thanks for keeping up with me. And thanks for all the support that you guys have been giving me. Um, it's honestly been unreal. All the DMs and comments on the videos. I hope I can connect with you guys on a greater level. So if you want to do that, make sure you go check out my live stream right after you're done watching this video. Let's hang out. Let's kick it. Guys, do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button. Like the video. Share the video. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.